Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. Over the last year or so, I've been using more and more outboard analog gear in my studio. And uh, our friends at SX Pro thought I should try this out. This is the MPEQ-1 by Undertone Audio. It is a thing of beauty. It's uh, by far probably one of the best EQs I've ever used. That said though, it's also one of the most complicated EQs I've ever used. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you all around the face of this thing to try and give you an understanding of what it's all about. Typically, we would run a few instruments through something like this and you'd be able to hear how good it is at you know, shaping the tone of your audio. But instead, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently in this video. I'm gonna run some pink noise through it and uh, hopefully explain what this is all about because it is a little bit complicated. So, what is it? Well, it's a channel strip. It's a mic pre and it's also a four band parametric EQ with a couple of filters. Sounds simple so far. Now let's start with the pots. We've got these dual concentric pots throughout the EQ section and filters. Not really my cup of tea, if I'm honest, because I find when you know you adjust the lower pot, you can easily <laughs> knock one of the upper pots, which is a little bit frustrating. But this is what it's got, this is what we'll use. Now let's start by having a look at the filters. We've got a low pass and a high pass. Each have their own switch here to engage it, disengage. And let's put some pink noise in now and have a little play around with, let's say, the low pass. Let's engage it. And we can start here at 22K. See there. And the upper pot here changes the shape. All the way to the right, you're gonna get this resident peak. It's quite extreme. Or something a little bit more sort of softer. Gentle sort of slope all the way to the left. And it's the same sort of thing over on the high pass. 20 hertz, let's roll this in. Again, change the shape. All very simple. Now let's move across to the parametric EQ. Things start to get a little bit more complicated here. Let's have a little play around with the high mid frequency band here. Now the top dual concentric pots are for gain and for shape, and the lower ones are for setting Q and bandwidth. And this little switch here for B, C and N stand for boost, cut and notch. Very simple. All right, let's run some pink noise through this. So, let's increase the gain of the bands. Got the shape all the way to the left here, so it's more of a notch. See that there on the frequency analyzer, we can sweep this. Adjust the bandwidth. Something a bit wider. Put it into cuts. Something quite narrow and sweet. Set it more to a sort of a shelf shape. Put it into boost. Adjust the width. There you have it. I've got to be honest, these pots have taken me a little bit of time to get used to. Now let's talk about the preamp section quick. This can be a preamp all on its own, or it could be fed into the EQ, or the EQ can be separate from that as well. And you can change that up here by clicking this switch, mic into EQ, or set into separate. We set the impedance, 20 dB pad, phantom power, all the stuff you expect on a pre, all very simple, and it sounds absolutely brilliant. If you wanna hear audio examples of the mic pre in action, do click that card at the top right of the screen, or the link in the description below. Okay, hopefully that gave you a good idea of what the MPEQ is all about. If you'd like to hear more audio examples of this in action, that being the pre and the EQ, do click the card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below. We'll also link to the comprehensive manual that this thing comes with. For more information on the MPEQ1, do check out our friends at SX Pro. They'll happily lend you one of these devices to play with in your studio for a short period of time so that you can see if this would fit your workflow. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert and I'll see you again soon.